Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much hams. Hello. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I remember our Tom fondly. I love this box so much. Like I, <sighs> this is by far the prettiest advent calendar next to the Shanta Kai one. And this is from YesStyle. First and foremost, I wanna say thank you so much to YesStyle for sending this my way. Super appreciate it. If it is available, I will definitely link it in the description box below for y'all to check it out. But um, I think this has to be so adorable. Like I can't even handle it. And it has like these little two doors here and look, it's, oh, it's so fucking cute. Like I can't, I can't stand it. It makes me sad because I want to be able to keep this box whole because I would love to have this as like, you know, something to do with my background, but because I'm moving, I know this is not going to work out for me. So I'm going to have to get rid of this box, but next year, I hope the box is as cute as this one because I cannot wait to fucking put it behind me. It's so fucking cute. I love it. I love it. This is adorable. So without further ado, let's open this bitch up. Oh, I failed to mention that this box actually retails for $189 and it looks like it's no longer available. So I apologize. I really do. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Based on this one, let's see if it is worth it for maybe next year. All right. So let's start with box number one. First of all, <laughs> this is so ingenious. I love it. Like that's, that's just amazing. But all right, let's talk about the first thing. And this is, what the hell is this? This just looks fun. It's a VT Sisa Bubble Sparkling Booster. Oh, okay. You get a bunch of these little packets and I'm not entirely sure what you do with them, but they look fun. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what exactly this is. So basically this little pack retails for about $16.20 and essentially these are individually packed cleansing masks to purge pores and remove excess sebum. Okay. It's creamy mud formula, helps remove impurities and dead skin cells. All right, intrigued to try that. Box number two. Oh, okay. Bye Bye Blemish Vita Tox Brightening Bubble Cleanser. So this retails for $18.92. And this basically removes skin impurities with the Vita Oxygen Bubbles. And it brightens up skin, helps dissolve dead skin cells. We love things that just dissolve dead skin cells. I love that. Really cool. Box number three looks like a brush. And I was actually wrong. This is the Han All Sharp Brow from Romandy. I think that's how you pronounce the brand name. It's our R O M ampersand N D. And this is a very, very thin eyebrow pencil, but the color is uh, pretty, pretty dark. So I'm not gonna be able to use it, but I'll pass it off to a friend, but that's pretty cool. Box number four. This looked really cute and I'm just destroying the shit out of it. <laughs> what is this? Oh, is this from the brand Skin Food? Oh, yay. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. So this is a, a loose setting powder. I don't think I've ever tried any makeup products from Skin Food. And this is basically a fine lightweight powder that uh, that's good for like matte baby-like finish. And it contains peach extract that will help calm dry and sensitive skin. So I'm super intrigued to try that. Box number five. All right. This is, I might as well just like rip it off like that. <laughs> Oh, okay. What is this? This is called Fingertip Pep Balm from the brand Dia? Deb? I don't know. <laughs> very difficult to... Oh, interesting. Actually, wait. This looks like a very, very red color. Very, very red color. The hell exactly is this? Pep Balm. Multifunctional balms that are good for either lips or the cheeks. Soft, fine texture enables smooth application without dryness or stickiness. I can definitely attest to that, that it dries down to almost like a powder-like finish. That's pretty. Okay. Not mad at that. And then we're going to go with box number six. <gasps> Yay. I, listen, I love Cosarex. Cosarex is fucking amazing. And these are awesome. This is the Advanced Snail Hydrogel Eye Patches. I currently have one of these open, but honestly, like I'm just kind of sad that it took me so long to really try Cosarex because they really make some awesome skincare products. And this one's just a really good eye gel. So if you're in the mood to find a new eye gel, something different, something very snail cummy, look at this. All right, let me wash this off. Let's go to drawer number two. Row number two, starting with box number seven. 
Oh, this is interesting. So this is from the brand Holika Holika. Huh, okay. It's like two different products. You have a correcting mascara and then you have an eye makeup remover. That's pretty cute. Okay, box number eight. Oh yes. Ooh, yes, bitch. Okay, so I actually have a highlighter from Clio, and I believe it's like a prism highlighter as well, but I don't have the highlighter duo, and that's what this is, and this is in the shade Cream Fizz. Oh, excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. What? These are so fucking beautiful. Oh my god, alien slut status. I love it. It's kind of subtle. What I like about them is one, they have that kind of wet texture that I always look for in a highlighter, but they kind of have that glassy balm skin effect that I just I fucking love I'm so obsessed with this is amazing oh my god I love it I love it I love it I love it so yeah so if you're interested this is from Cleo and this is cream fizz highlighter duo oh my god I love that I'm obsessed actually both shades kind of look identical from like this angle maybe this one's like a hair darker sort of not really but in any case I am obsessed box number nine Oh, okay. The brand is called the Plant Base, and this is Time Stop Peptide Eye Cream. All right, for revitalizing, extra firming, and radiant looking for the face. All right, intrigued to try that. We love a good eye cream. Box number 10. Ooh, what the hell is this? Oh, okay, this is actually a lip oil from the brand Moni, or is it MDNY? Oh no, it's Mac Queen. Okay, so this is a lip oil. Mac Queen has some cool products. I have tried a few of them from the past. This looks like a fancy bottle. Oh, okay, interesting. So I thought this was gonna be a dropper because that's what it kind of looks like, but it doesn't. It's like this really weird like silicone doe foot. That, I have never seen that before. Interesting, okay, so let's actually apply this to the face. Let's see how this works. All right, as a lip oil, it's fine. You know, it, it's a lip oil, okay. But um, I don't know how I feel about the kind of silicone. It feels like a silicone spatula. It feels like I'm baking a cake. Like. It feels weird. I don't know if I like that texture on my lips, but lip oil wise, it's fine. It's a lip oil. Box number 11. Oh yeah. Oh no, I've never tried this one. I thought it was something else. Hold on. Okay, so Purito, I've recently tried a couple of things from them and I've been liking them. So this is actually a Dermide Sisa Beria Sleeping Pack. Unscented comfort sleeping pack, calming and soothing with super centella complex, lock in moisture during overnight. Okay, wake up with super supple, plump skin. So let's see, can never get enough of these kind of creams, especially like sleeping masks. I love them. Oh, feels really nice, comfortable. And the cream is thick but the more you kind of rub it into the skin the less oily it feels and it feels very very comfortable and very nourishing as you can tell like from my hands they look super hydrated so that's cool so i'm curious to try this out but i definitely know the one product that i did get i believe in the mystery box that they sent me i really enjoyed and i think that one was good for redness so listen i'm a dry dry mummy's dick this is very very appealing to me and last but not least we have box number 12 or slot number 12 i should say and I crushed this box, but oh, this is a <laughs> this is a hand and foot perfume cream. Okay, this is from Village Factory, and it's in the scent Fresh Emerald. Might as well just pour this on top of. <laughs> just my hand is gonna smell so funny today. Actually, doesn't smell bad. It's like a pleasant, soft, like light scent. And actually, it makes sense because the other product didn't have any scent, I believe. Yeah, this one was unscented. Yeah, it's very pleasant. Probably gonna use this for actually my hands and my feet. I'll let you know how this works out, but this is cute. I like it. So far, really enjoying it. And there's probably only one product that I'm not gonna be able to use. Everything has been fucking amazing so far. Moving on to the third row, starting with box number 13. This is from the brand Maison, and this is a CC Laronic cleansing balm. Okay, love me a good cleansing balm. Can't have enough of those. Box number 14. Ooh, what the hell is this? This is a calming mask pack. This is from the brand, I cannot pronounce that. Okay, so it's from this brand. So these are calming face masks. Okay, these look interesting. Your calming mask pack. I'm not too sure. I feel like if they're green, they're probably really good for redness, but uh, all right. Yeah, intrigued to try that one out. Slot number 15. Ooh, fancy. I think the brand is called Unic. Unic? It's I-U-N-I-K. And this is the Noni Light Oil Serum. Advanced Anti-Aging Rich Moisturizing Wrinkle Care. Love that. Oh, that's very, it's very, very tummy tummy. 
smells very pleasant. I have to say like a lot of the Yes Style skincare stuff always has like a nice light fragrance. Always smells just very pretty. I don't know, I like that. Okay, oh, so I'm gonna throw that into the routine, see if that does anything for my skin. Box number 16. Ooh, what the hell is this? This is from the brand Claire's, and this is a poor gentle black sugar charcoal soap. Okay. I probably am not gonna get a lot of use out of this because my pores are pretty much under control, but I do know somebody that could use this, so I'm gonna pass this along, which again, not bad. Two products so far that I'm gonna pass along, everything else I am going to hoard for myself. I like those odds. Box number 17. Oh my fucking God, what is this? Oh my God, look how cute this is. <laughs> what is this? Capsule makeup brush, what? Okay, excuse me for being the most adorable thing I've ever seen. <gasps> oh my God, look how cute it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Oh, the quality is not bad. It's okay. It's, you know, oh, it's all right. This is probably more adorable than anything else, but I will kind of get used out of this brush though. So it looks like it's three little mini brushes, probably really good for travel. So it looks like a giant blending brush, a shader brush, and then you kind of have like a packing brush or like maybe something that you can use for shimmers or like metallic shades. And then on this side, it's like kind of like a little kabuki brush. The bristles aren't bad. I mean, they kind of feel a little pointy-ish, but like not terrible. I've definitely had worse brushes. The eye brushes actually feel better. So maybe I'll probably get actually more use out of this than I would this one, but that's so cute though. Oh, I love, I love this. Oh my God, that's so, I can't even. I like how everything is just like works so perfectly. All right, so how do I, what would be nice? Oh, there it goes, okay. Oh my God, that's fucking cute. That is fucking cute. I love that. And the last one for this section, we have box number 18, which, what do we have here? Oh, we have a setting spray. Okay, this is an all day locking fixer. Okay, nice. And the brand is Nemogen, and this is the Germology All Day Locking Fix Spray. Okay, cool. So last but certainly not least, we have the last row, and we're gonna start with number 19. Ooh. So this is from the brand Secret Key, which I've never heard, but this is Black Snail Cream. Okay. Oh, I like this fancy little package we got here. Oh, uh, yep, that's, that's snail cream, all right. That ooey gooey, <laughs> ooey gooey cream that is so just kind of weird, but once it melts into the skin, it's probably some of the best skincare I've ever tried, especially if you are like me and you have incredibly dry skin. I swear to God, my hands are gonna look like the hands of a toddler with all the shit that I keep putting on it, and I love that for me. But this one also has a pleasant smell. It doesn't smell like anything. Of course, I have been putting a bunch of creams and shit on my hands, so rest assured that everything that I put on my hands so far is not offensive. So that's great. Love that. <laughs> Box number 20. Uh, and this is where it goes horribly wrong. So this is from the brand Unleashia. I think that's how you pronounce it. And basically this is a loose glitter gel set. I'm not gonna open this up. I know I'm not gonna use it. It looks very fucking sparkly, very fucking scary. I personally don't like putting loose glitter on my face. I don't wanna have excess glitter bukkake. So this is gonna be a no and I'm gonna pass on this. But um, again, not bad. Three out of 20 products that I've opened that I'm kind of like, man, I could care less about. So I'm gonna pass off to somebody else. I think that's a pretty good fucking odds. So, okay, all right, moving on. I'm not gonna spend too much time dilly-dallying over that bullshit. Let's go to box number 21. Ooh, this is from the brand Isn't Tree, and this is Real Mugwort Clay Mask. Ooh, refreshing on exhausted skin, strong sebum care, exfoliating rough skin. I think um, my best friend Michael has been talking a lot about mugwort. I remember him saying it, so I'm gonna kind of pass this along to him. That boy loves a good clay mask, so here you go, Michael, it's for you. <laughs> Box number 22. Oh shit, okay, actually it's so funny. I actually ordered this. I ordered this and I haven't received it yet, but that's really fucking cool. So I think I'm going to kind of pass this along to my best friend, but I wanted to try this. This is the Honey Serum. It's from the brand I'm From, and this one just sounded really good. It's supposed to help you calm your skin while leaving your skin feeling very, very refreshed. I have been getting a lot into like honey products as well. Pharmacy has a really good set that has a lot of honey stuff in it, so I've kind of just been intrigued to try other products that have honey in their skincare. So this one just sounds really fucking good. So super excited that I have this essentially. So I'm probably gonna just pass this along to my friend, but or maybe hoard it for myself if I love the serum. Maybe. 
I'm gonna hoard this. I might hoard this. Okay. Moving on to box number 23. Ooh. Okay. So this is from the brand called Mercy. And this is Bite the Beat Mellow Tint. So let's see. What exactly is this? Probably a lip product. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. That is a lip product. All right. Oh, that's pretty. It's like an orangey red color, but also kind of just looks like a nice tint. So, all right. Not bad, not bad. And last but certainly not least, we have box number 24. This is, what the hell is this? Oh, it's a little eyeshadow palette. Okay, so it's from the brand Papira. I think that's how you say it, Papira. And this is the Muteful Rose palette. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Oh, weird. So the outside, pa oh no, I get it. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck happened to the outside packaging? But it actually just matches it. I will say that it looks better here than it does on here. On here, it looks like one of the eyeshadows exploded. This looks adorable. So, okay, all right. This is a nice little eyeshadow palette. Actually has one of the pans already coming up out of the thing. So that's, okay, we're just gonna smoosh that back in there. Let's try, let's, uh, oh, all right. Eh, swatch wise, not really doing it for me. Oh, but that could be kind of cool though. Oh, that's like weird. It's like a kind of weird like duochrome, but also very see-through. I know when it comes to kind of Asian makeup, it's very light. It's usually a very light wash of color, but I mean, it's okay. Uh, I like the mattes more. They're very pretty. They're very soft, especially the darker ones. The ones that are lighter are, are I don't know, they're very, very light, but the ones that are deeper towards the end, those have a nice payoff. The shimmers are just kind of soft super, super sparkly. This one is kind of interesting though, because it has like a weird, I don't know if you could fucking see that. It's red, but there's also like these glitter reflex in it that kind of turns it white. That one's an interesting shade. This one up here is kind of lackluster. I don't know, it's like a pink shade. Mm, nothing really to write home about, but this one though could potentially be something really fucking cool. So we're gonna give this a whirl, see how it goes. But um, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let me wash my hands and we'll let you know my final thoughts. So this is everything that you get in the box. And I have to say, I'm actually pretty fucking impressed. There are a lot of really cool products that I'm interested in. And there's also quite a few products that I have not heard of, but I'm intrigued to try. There's only a handful that I would gift to somebody else because either the color doesn't work for me or it kind of comes down to a preference saying like this fucking loose glitter. But for the most part, this is all fantastic. I think out of all the advent calendars that I've unboxed, my top one has been the Shantikai one because I see myself utilizing everything, right? I would say that this is probably a second. There are some really cool fucking things in here. The box is also really beautiful as well. Super sad that I'm not gonna be able to keep it because I know it's gonna get destroyed in shipping. And I actually kind of like the little layout of them. I don't know, like it was really, really cute. Like this was definitely a lot of fun to open, a lot of fun to play with. And I am intrigued to try a lot of this shit. So actually um, I'm probably gonna do like a get ready with me where I'll probably incorporate some of these makeup products. And then of course I'll let you know in the future about some of these skincare stuff, but I'm happy with it. This was really cool. So again, thank you to uh, YesStyle for sending this my way. Super sad that this is no longer available, but I definitely am going to pick up the one that comes out next year and do an unboxing because this definitely exceeded my expectations. So with that said, um, let me know down below if you actually purchased this or got this yourself. Uh, let me know because I love hearing from you. And also let me know some of your favorite skincare products from YesStyle. I kind of fall down a rabbit hole every time I'm on the brand site and I usually wind up getting like so many fucking different things and they've all have been fabulous. Let me know your great finds. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron puppies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, garbage, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do it without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. If you want to know what is currently on my nails, ooh, everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye. You like that? Me too.